Hey guys, Paul from DroneU, here to show you how to turn your Mavic Pro into a usable tool. Now, if you're like me and you're a videographer, you're a cinematographer, you love smooth movements, and when you're flying in GPS with that active brake, it's really hard to get nice sliding motions without some jarring effect as you end the shot. Well, DJI, for whatever reason, didn't put attitude mode in the Mavic Pro, this little guy right here. But I'm here to show you today how to get attitude mode on your Mavic Pro. Now, first things first, you're going to need the assistant software, and this is for Mac users. If you're not using a Mac and you're using a PC, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description on how exactly you can change your PC to adjust uh, your assistant to actually get what you want out of the Mavic. So what you're going to need is your Mavic Pro. First things first, make sure you take off the gimbal clamps. Uh, really important as it fires up. Yeah, I still have my Polar Pro filter on there. All right, so you're gonna want to plug in your Mavic Pro. Plug it in, plug it in. All right. Now I normally recommend taking off the props because this thing could cut you. But I think we're gonna be okay today, so. Go ahead and go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in here. Now, if you have a Mac, first thing you gotta do, open up Assistant 2, hit Command Option I, and you'll notice it'll go to a Resources tab, click Local Storage, click File, it'll say Debug Enable, change false to true. There's a zero above that value, you're gonna wanna change that to a one, click Enter. Exit out, go to Mavic Pro. Then you're gonna go on the left-hand side, scroll down to where you see parameters. Now, I already have mine set up, so you'll see how it's set up correctly, but I'm gonna change it. Um, in Index and Filter, you're gonna search for Control, Control underscore Mode, and you'll see uh, value 01383. So this is the correct way to set it up, but if I reset this, Reset, see that goes to seven. That's GPS, you actually want it to be attitude. And you can favorite it, and if you wanna change it back later, you can. That's how you do it. Just back out. When you change the three to an eight, make sure to press enter, okay? And then close this out. Yes, you wanna quit. And that's how you do it. So here's the thing, when you actually, so you'll turn off your Mavic Pro. When you actually go outside for the first time, what will actually happen is it'll fire up in GPS mode. You'll switch to sport mode and switch back Please into GPS and map. you'll notice it's attitude mode. Now I have it set up like that because I still wanna have GPS mode if I take pictures. So my sport mode will act as my GPS and if I don't switch into sport and back down to GPS, I'll still have GPS mode and all my intelligent flight moves, which is really important. Now something you should know, um, if you have a Mavic Pro and you use attitude mode, it really can't fly as aggressively as a Phantom. So if you try to you know, get these smooth banking motions at high speed, you're gonna notice that it's not gonna be nearly as smooth as a Phantom. I've actually had attitude mode on my Mavic Pro for quite some time now. I've even flown some events and whatnot with it. And it's just not nearly as agile as a Phantom 4 or Phantom 4 Pro, but it's truly awesome. So, you know, it doesn't have the big sensor like this, you know, unique Typhoon H, which is great for mapping, but the Mavic Pro, this is the most clandestine drone that's out there. So I hope this video helped you out. If you want more tips, tricks, and hacks from DroneU, try becoming a member where you get all of our 27 classes for one low monthly price, or just subscribe to our channel and get even more content. That's gonna do it for me today. My name is Paul, and you're watching DroneU TV. Thank you.